Okay. Take four. Let's try it again. This is Farmer Sun Prepping, by the way. Uh, I'm outside on my bench here in the shade. It's about a million degrees today with a million percent humidity. I'm sweating profusely. Uh, anyway, Naked and Afraid in Alabama uh, challenged me to make a video making a fire with a broken lighter. This, fire, this lighter's not broken. Uh, I don't keep broken ladders, bud, and I just threw one away, an empty one, like a week ago, so bad timing. Sorry about that. But a spark is a spark. It doesn't matter what the ignition source is. The only way uh, you're going to make a fire from a broken ladder, uh, you're going to have to have some really, 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 really dry natural tender broke down to almost dust particles. And then what you're going to have to do is, whatever that natural tender is, you're going to have to put the lighter right down on it and spark it to, to make it work. Okay. I'm going to use char cloth. That's the only other way you can pull this off is to use char cloth, okay? Uh, char cloth that's been pre-charred. It catches a spark super easily. I'm going to substitute, because this lighter works, I'm afraid... You know, I'll hit the button and it won't be it won't be a fair representation of what you're asking for. So a spark is a spark. I'm gonna use the back of my saw here and this little uh Swiss Army knife ferro rod right here. So uh the natural tender I'm gonna use is jute twine. Yes, you can use dryer lint. Uh I've had people comment on that. But dryer lint uh burns up in a flash and I'm afraid I would get it lit and it'd be poof and people would say they wouldn't see it or whatever. So I'm going for jute twine because it burns a little longer. It gives the camera an opportunity to actually see it burn and all that. That way I don't think I'm just, you know, saying it burned and it didn't or whatever. Okay, I'm afraid. Anyway, so the process of doing this, we need to get embers on this, which is not going to be hard to do with a furrow rod or a broken ladder. Not hard to do at all. Once you get your embers on this, let me set that down, you're gonna have to transfer the hot burning embers over to the natural material. You're gonna put the natural material in front of it, okay? And put it up against the burning char cloth and then blow the fire into the natural material. In this case, jute twine. All right, so a little uh, explanation of what I'm going to be doing here. So first off, let's get the jute twine up here out of the way. I don't know if y'all can see everything. Let me move y'all down a little bit. Uh, let me fix the camera so you can see what I'm actually doing here. Maybe. All right, so here's the char cloth right here. This is a good challenge, too, by the way. I appreciate that. Nope, not yet. This char cloth here, I... I didn't really let it cook long enough, so that may be part of my problem. Maybe I could tear me off a little rough edge right there. Sometimes it works better on char cloth. It catches easier. Tear me off a couple little ragged edges right there. See if I can get that started. Oh, we got one. That, that worked, okay. That she's burning. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, where's the camera at? But that right there is actually burning. It's got an ember in it. Maybe y'all can see that. I don't know. Anyhow, now the challenge to get this lit. 
you put this behind your ember and you blow the fire literally into it. Whoo! She's on fire, y'all. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? There we go. So that is the process, William, on how you would do that. You blow the fire. This is still burning, by the way. You blow the ember out of the char cloth into your natural material. That is hot, by the way. And yes, this is still burning. It's all about how the oxygen gets to it, too. It's airflow is, is very important when you're doing that. So, William, I hope that helps, buddy. Uh, I hope your health is doing better maintaining all that kind of good stuff prayers and blessings be to you god bless you it's the farmer son prepping check y'all next time